hi friends this is soft raising in this lesson we will be doing something like this okay all right this is a reinforced concrete overhead water stand okay this reinforced concrete will be carrying two water tank okay one on this particular top and the other here okay all the industry load has been calculated and converted to this loads symbols you are seeing here okay uh, so if you want to know more about calculations of load from a or from an overhead water tank you check in my video or by the left corner of the end of this video there will be a link for you to learn about that okay and so after which we will be using a strip foundation so we can bind the foundations of the, the the columns together at the foundations so as to overcome overturning okay and so this is a strip foundation okay i use the strip foundations okay you can see it here this one okay and so this is what we will be doing we are going to divide the lesson into two parts okay the modeling part and the uh analysis and design part okay uh, so this time we'll be dealing with modeling part you can see this this is the column dropped okay all right we design this slab as a uh a flat slab okay this is a flat slab that's why you didn't see any beam here okay uh, so uh we will learn a lot in this lesson okay so you have to stay tuned if you have not subscribed you have to do so so you can be able to get notification as soon as i upload an advanced lesson and read a uh, uh, lesson of this kind okay uh, so uh let's start so we we'll click on the uh, new button okay concrete water tank stand okay All right, so I will click on OK. Using BS eight one one zero, I will import OK. All right, so after which I will set my uh, my grid lines. OK, so I click on the orthogonal grid lines. I click here. I will have this. So what I need to do in the direction one axis, I will have. 750 okay 750 times one i will have comma okay and so i will have again 2500 this 750 is the walkway okay while the 2500 is the is the uh, width of the is the width of the the width of the platform okay So, half comma again, then half 750 again. That's one. This is what I wanted. Okay. And so, I want to copy this now. Then, I will paste it in this place. I'll paste it here. Okay. So, can click on OK. So, you can see my grid has been fixed. Okay. So this is the walkway, okay. This is the width and the length, okay, of the water tank, okay. So what I need to do now is I will insert my columns. All right. So in this place, I will select this section of my column. I want it to be a circular column, okay. So in the circular column, I will be having 250 as the uh, radius of the columns, okay. So what I need to do is I will inside this is column here. Okay, I will insert it here. Here and here. Okay. So after which I will close this place. Okay. So I will be having up to four story. But before I go to 
create that I will first of all save the project okay so after saving the project what I need to do now is I will come to building okay so I will click on edit story okay so in the edit story dialog the height of this story in millimeter is 3000 I will change it to 2500 okay just like this okay all right so I will click on okay I will say yes all right so the next thing I will go back to building again Alright, so I will click on insert story this time. In the insert story dialog, I will insert four stories. Okay, so I click on okay. And I will get back to story one. Okay, I want to generate these stories. Okay, so I will, I will, uh, I will click on building. Okay, and then click on generate story. Select story one by my left left side. Come to the right side. Select story two. Order your shift key. Select up to select story four. Okay, and then you click on uh, generate story. Okay. All right. So I'm having up to story four. Okay, column. So the next thing I need to do is I will go back to story one. Okay, so I can insert my beams. Okay. Alright, so I will click on the beam. Once I click on beam, I want to have a beam of 350 by 500. Okay, so I will click this point to insert my beams. Okay, just like this. Okay, so after which I will close this. Okay, so if I set the project again, okay. So after saving the project, I will navigate to the 3D to see what I have done so far, okay. So this is how it looks okay so what i need to do now i want to select this beam okay i will order my control key select this one select also this one and i will select this one okay all right so i want to generate this to this uh, level and up to this level okay i will bring it to this uh, level because what will be happening here is a flash lab it does not need beam okay so what i will do is i will go to a dictionary uh, building okay then i will go to i will go to generate story okay so i want to generate this to this story to order your control key and story three okay and then I click on the code generate say yes so you can see it's being generated okay so uh, the next thing i will do is i will close this i will navigate to the last story okay and then i will navigate to the plan view okay so what i will want to do now is i want to create my column drop okay column drop i will select this column right click Okay, I will click on property. Okay, so in the property dialog, I will go to drop. Okay, I will activate this. Okay, so in the drop, I want to have a the width of it to be. I want to have the width of it to be for fifty. Okay, by four fifty. And I want it to be uh, center, okay, which is half of the 
450 so the height of the dropped i want it to be 500 okay so this is it all right so i will click on update you can see the drop has been inserted okay okay so uh All right, so I will close this. Then I will do the same thing here. Alright, we have successfully extracted uh, our drop, so let's uh, view, navigate to the 3D. So this is how it's going to look, okay? So this is our column what? Drop, okay? Alright, just like this. So the next thing we have to do is, we will have to insert a slab here, okay? Then also a slab here for our, for our flash slab, okay? Design, okay? So by then, we we'll have to save the project. So after saving the project, I want to navigate to the live view. Okay. All right. So we are at level okay so at this level four we want to insert the slab okay so what we need to now is we have to click on slab okay we we'll give a thickness of this slab this slab is a uh, flat slab so we will be using a thickness of 250 millimeter okay so the cover is still red the same okay so we will be having a flash slab okay and then we will use a load of uh, we will be using this okay all right so and then we will insert it here okay and then we'll go back to the general click on this you see a cantilever this is cantilever okay click all right so the length of the cut lever we will be using 750 okay 750 now we get the 750 from the walkway okay because we want to use cut lever around the walkway okay so it is 750 uh, so we want to look at the parapet load okay the parapet load we will be considering here is 10 Kilometer meter square okay so that's it so now we start to insert our cut lever just like this okay <coughs> just like this this how to insert cut lever okay all right so this is it okay so i will click on closed okay so i will be having something of this kind okay so let us view it in 3d okay you have something like this all right okay so i will go back to the plan view okay so i will navigate to story tree all right i need a slab here okay this slab will be carrying another tank okay 
so I will change this place to zero I don't need this so I will just click and come to this number one okay I will change the thickness of this lamp to 150 okay and I will insert this lamp here okay close this right so after which we will be having loads here okay we will be having load here so i will use line load okay click on the slab line load i will use this okay then i will add the load here based on the capacity of the tank and the conversions okay we are having a load of 20 kilo newton okay so we we'll click here and drag it over here and then release it okay just like this so I've applied this load to this particular slab, meaning it is the weight of the tank onto this slab, which we now carry to the beam and onto the column and then decompose it in the foundations. Okay, so this is how it works. Okay, so I will close this. So I want to also add load to the flat slab. Okay, <coughs> so what I want to do is I will navigate to the uh, this top view okay so the next thing I need to do now is I will click on the line load okay so in this I will be using this load all right so I will be having I will be having 15 kilo newton yeah so I will apply uh, one here okay I will apply another one Yeah. Okay. I will also apply it on here. Okay. These are loads. Okay. On the slabs. One yeah. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay, based on the calculations. All right. So I will close this. Okay. So I will save the project. All right. So after saving the project, we will now navigate to the uh, 3d view so this is how it's going to look okay so the next thing we are going to model is the ladder okay so for us to do that we will navigate to the plan view okay so we will be placing our ladder here and here okay so we will Activate our steel beam. Okay, we are going to use the columns. Okay, all right, so we are going to select the sections. We will be using angle sections. Okay, all right, so we will select this 90 by 90 by 7. Okay, we will select this. All right and we click on it. okay so we are going to insert it here it's a great intersections okay after which we will come to section manager and we will rotate it this way just this way okay and we will rotate it and insert it here okay all right so this is it okay so uh the next thing that we need to do is the next thing we need to do is we will close this okay so you can't now uh, navigate to 
the 3D, okay? All right, you have something like this, okay? Just like this. All right, so we want to send it down, okay? And for us to do that, we will, we will have to select this, okay? You hold your control key, you select this, okay? And you right click, okay? And then you will click on property, all right? Under where you see line story, you click on it, okay? Then you click on this, uh, edit, all right? And then make this place for okay put four yeah okay and then you you okay it can see it has been, it's been sent down okay you can see okay so you close this all right so the next thing is we want to put our runs okay so for us to do that we will be using this okay this one okay so we will select this once that is selected you select this this select the first and then the second okay so this is it all right so uh you can also edit the this yeah runs height okay but I think this one is okay okay so it's okay all right so you just click on okay and then you have something like this okay <laughs> you will be having something like this so this runs uh, we have a beam that will be weighted to the ladder and then embedded in the concrete okay so as to maintain the rigidity of the uh, slider okay and for us to do that we will have to first save the project okay After saving the project, we will go to BIM, okay? We will go to BIM. And then we will go to sections. We want to use the same angle, okay? Then we select it. Click on OK. We want to connect this point to this point. Right, says overlapping. Okay, so what we need to do is we navigate to the plan view. Okay, and then go to this story, story one. And then you activate the beam. Okay. this point and then pick this point all right you go to story 2 and you do the same thing Okay, go to story three. All right, so after which you close this. 
and now view your project in 3D. So this is what you actually have, okay? You see, you have actually have this, okay? You can as well click on BIP. So this angle ion will be embedded here and then wait to the ladder. So as to maintain the ladder rigidity, okay? Alright, so this is the modeling of the overhead and stand, okay? So in the part two of this lesson, we will be looking at analysis and design including this ladder uh, elements okay well, we're on the analysis and the design as well okay so subscribe if you have not subscribed and stay tuned for more advanced lessons of this kind okay bye